Gareth Kwok here with Devon Pouncey. Blazers scouting manager Cherie Sam joining us as well. With under 10 minutes to go, Rodney Hood in the corner, and he's got his first points of the afternoon. Yeah, Hood got a good standing ovation earlier today, too, coming into this one. But, but Cherie, I want to ask you, because it's Women's History Month, first and foremost, so glad that we have you here alongside us, and we can kind of celebrate you in the midst of all of that. There was some big history made today at the collegiate level where Caitlin Clark became the all-time NCAA leading scorer, passing up Pistol Pete Maravich, who now sits at second on the list. And then at third on the list is the Rip City Remix's own Antoine Davis. Um, but for you, you had a, a rich history playing at the NCAA level, appearing in the tournament every year um, at Vanderbilt. What has it been like to be able to witness kind of this history of Caitlin Clark and then just the overall growth of the women's game as well like it, as it continues to to a scene. Yeah, a lot of buckles, buckets for Caitlin. Yeah, um, she's a bucket. <laughs> she's a bucket. Um, no, you know, just it's great to see the game continue to evolve and continue to grow. I think what she's done this season has just been, you know, spectacular to watch. And, you know, now she's headed to the W, so yeah. hopefully um, she continue to, to make those buckets and get the fever uh, back on top. <laughs> Our team there. Shout out to the fever. I mean, it would be nice to see her and Aaliyah Boston together wouldn't it? It's going to be a cold tandem. That'll be a cold be a tandem, cold tandem. for sure. I would like that. The town is just getting better and better each year. But what do you remember about your playing days uh, back when you won your two championships? What do you remember most about those days? Just, I mean, just, it was a lot of fun. Just, I just know the grind. It was a lot of work. But, man, I, I played with some great, great teammates with Lauren Jackson, Sue Bird, able to win in, in Seattle, and then also in Detroit playing with Katie Smith and Tweety Nolan. And, uh, you know, those girls. So it was just, I was blessed to have a long career, you know, and able to win a championship. Not that many people get to do that. And I like to win two, so. Knox, Knox tried to go for the alley-oop. And, and I love it because here with the, with the Trailblazers, the, the front office has decided to reach out to some of you legends in the women's basketball world, bring you over to be able to fill in roles, obviously yours being the scouting manager. What's it been like to be able to kind of bring your knowledge of the game here to the NBA level and try to strengthen what's going on here in Portland? Yeah, you know, very fortunate to be under some great leadership with Joe Cronin, and Andre Patterson, and those guys have been really inclusive and you know, just looking at us as not necessarily as women, but just as great basketball minds. Facts. Uh, you know, players with Asia, myself, and Tina, that's that's played at the highest level. And, um, you know, just being inclusive and, and letting us have a voice and hopefully uh, bring this organization uh, to compete for championships in the West. After your playing career, did you have any idea that you would want to get into scouting and stay in basketball? Or was it something that uh, was sort of on the fly and, and like, hey, this is... You know, I didn't think I was going to do this, but now I'm, I'm doing it, and I'm, I enjoy it. I absolutely enjoy it. Um, I love being back in basketball. It's always been a passion for me, but I had no, I, no idea I would be um, in the NBA and in Portland. Um, I tried coaching, didn't really, wasn't a big pillar of that. It's a lot of work in college, you know. Um, then I went to administration, and, um, you know, I was fortunate enough to get this opportunity to, to come here uh, and be a part of this organization. And, you know, every day I'm just blessed to be able to go out and do something that I love. 14-point lead for the remix. Cherie Sam, the scouting manager for the Portland Trailblazers, joining us here on Fox 12 Plus. Nice behind-the-back pass by Moore to George Condit for the floater. Well, the Blazers called up Tajay, the first remix player, to be called up to the Blazers. Just what have you seen? What was so attractive about his game to lend the 10-day deal back uh, a month ago or so? This is intensity uh, that he brings to the floor. Um, super athletic, too. Have you seen this yeah. guy jump? Oh, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so, no, just, just uh, his intensity, the way he plays the game, just to be able to go and uh, play up with the Blazers uh, when we needed, you know, to fill a spot. Lob for Love is in to increase the lead for the hustle. And then Ashton Hagens yesterday with 13 points. And he's starting to to really find a role and, and find an identity with the Blazers. What, what's been the most impressive part about Ashton's game amongst the, the coaching staff in the front office? 
aside from the flexing after the basket. <laughs> um, you know, again, just his intensity, uh, the way he approaches the game. You know, he's a dog, defensive, uh, every possession. He's up on the ball and just trying to make things happen. Um, so I'm glad to see him have some success these last two games with the Blazers because he's really worked hard. And, um, you know, he's he's brought some intensity to our, to our lineup on the defensive end as well for the Blazers. So uh, good for him for uh, having those two performances so far. Obviously, we're in a bit of what some people would be considered a new era with the Portland Trail Blazers and being able to kind of be a part of something new. You know, there's been a lot of roster turnover, but now you kind of got a good young core that, that I think this city could be very excited about already showing signs of what they can do here early on. What's it like to be able to be sort of a part of a new beginning here in Rip City? You know, it's great. Again, just the leadership and being being a part of, of this uh, organization right now is exciting for us, um, you know, to be able to really pretty much build from ground up and, and try to uh, get us back, you know, back into the playoffs. But, you know, we have some good long guys with, you know, Scoot and Shaden and Anthony's continuing to play well. So just going to continue to build with those guys and, you know, add pieces here and there. Timmy Allen from the mid-range. Off the heel, rebound by... Alex Reese and just you know the back to the remix just briefly but how pleased have has the front office been with Jim Moran and the coaching staff and what they've been able to do to develop this G League team and this and these players yeah, Jim and his crew have been great you know they're they're hard workers they're in there you know working these guys out developing these guys and you know they're coming out here and you know playing hard for the fans um they, they're really starting to put together some good defensive stops. Um, so, oh. Adonis Arms alone. So yeah, I think Reese. they're doing a really good job <laughs> working with these guys, developing this talent, as you can see on the floor. It's, they're getting better as the season goes along. Well, Cherie, thanks so much for joining us and just lending a little bit of your time to talk about what it's like to be a member of the Blazers front office and just sharing your insight as well on this whole remix season, which has been a lot of fun, not only for us, but for the, the rest of the organization and, of course, for these fans. So thanks so much for uh, stopping by. Thanks. Thanks for having me, guys. It's been a pleasure. That's uh, Jerry Sam, the scouting manager for the Portland Trail Blazers. Hustle with the double-digit lead here with under five minutes to play in this first half. Knox double-teamed in the corner, and at the last second, whistle blown and free throw coming up for Kevin. Much needed free throw here coming up for Kevin Knox as well. Is kind of on 